The National Transportation Safety Commission found that the Lion Air Flight JT610 disintegrated upon impact with the ocean's surface. The National Search and Rescue Agency extended the Lion Air search operation as the cockpit voice recorder of the downed plane flight JT610 is still missing. State oil company Pertamina has managed to offload its 750 million US dollar bond offering. Welcome to our video daily updates highlighting important issues in politics, business, economy, sports, technology, and culture. I'm Ana Cecilia Regalado, and this is the Daily Post from the Jakarta Post. Based on recent recoveries, the National Transportation Safety Commission, or KNKT, said they suspected that flight JT610 did not come apart mid-flight. Parts of the plane of the JT610 flight were recovered in Karawang, West Java, on Saturday. Representatives of the Basarnas, TNI, KNKT, BPPT, and Lion Air met with grieving families at the Hotel Ibis, East Jakarta, on Monday to elaborate their findings to family members. The head of the National Transportation Safety Commission, Suryanto Chayono, said the plane did not come apart while in the air. The plane was intact when it impacted with the water. The statement was based on the fact that the tiny fragments of the plane were found dispersed on the ocean's surface, in a parameter as wide as 250 square meters. It was also found that the engine was running on high speed upon impact. The National Search and Rescue Agency, or Basarnas, has scheduled an additional three days of joint operations to retrieve the still-missing cockpit voice recorder starting on Monday. The extended search and rescue efforts is focused on retrieving the remaining victims of the downline air flight JT610, as well as the still-missing cockpit voice recorder, or CVR. Joint evacuation teams previously detected a weak signal transmitted by the CVR somewhere at a depth of 32 meters underwater and within a 500 meter radius from where the plane crashed. The device is crucial to the crash investigation as the communication recorded by the device will be evaluated with the 69 hours of flight data that has been downloaded from the plane's flight data recorder, or FDR, the first black box that was retrieved by the search team on Thursday. Indonesian state oil company Pertamina has managed to offload its 750 million US dollar bond offering a week after global market turmoil threatened to derail the sale. The sale comes amid an emerging markets rout and growing trade tensions between the United States and China. Last week, when it was reported Pertamina failed to generate enough demand for the bonds due to the market volatility in the US. Pertamina spokesman said the troubled bond sale process highlights the challenges faced by Indonesia and other emerging markets in raising funds overseas. Pertamina Finance Director Pahala Mansuri said the bond is on 6.5% coupon rate. Bankers initially had expected Pertamina would sell $2 billion of bonds by the end of the year. So that is all for our daily updates. Stay tuned at thejakartapost.com and follow all our social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook and Instagram, or read our daily newspaper for more updates and news. I'm Anna Cecilia Regalado of the Jakarta Post, signing off.